Welcome to Dr. Walls and Friends here live at the Mega Martial Arts Weekend at the Tropicana Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey. We are on the Sisters in Harmony Network and Africa TV One. And I am standing here with one of my favorite martial artists of all time. Wow. Thank you. And he knows it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sensei Hernandez, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much again, once again, so, to meet each other again. Yes. Uh, at this great event that we're having here today, uh, it's going to be a good exposure for everybody. Yes. are going to get to meet a lot of great martial artists mm -hmm. nationally and internationally. So oh. I, I'm, I'm humble, humble to be here. That is wonderful. And you're doing a presentation today. I'm doing a presentation. I'm going at 3 o'clock right after all everybody else goes. Okay. You know, I'm going to be supporting everybody else too as well. Yes. Yes. You know, be part of that event. Uh, again, to bring my students to expand their knowledge mm -hmm. with everyone else has is, is been an honor for me. Yes. So, so it's been great. Now, what can people expect to see today? Well, today I'm going to be working a lot on hand to hand combat. All right, we only got 40 minutes, mm -hmm. but I'll try to do it on 20. All right. So I could have that extra 20 minutes to work with. Yes. 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 Now, for those who have not seen him in action before, you can go to our YouTube channel, SIH Global One, the number one, SIH Global One. And, you know, one thing about O Sensei is when he is, I guess, fighting you, it looks more like a dance. Ah. It's like you're doing the samba or, or something, but next thing you know, the person's getting smacked really uh, fast. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it is that I, I enjoy music. Yes. Uh, besides, you know, doing my art. Uh, I do cardio kickboxing as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I love salsa. I'm a salsa dancer. Yes. Uh, I've been for a long time. I was involved with music, but I decided to go with martial arts. Okay. Uh, and that's where I you really, really... You incorporate the two? I incorporate the two. Because he's smooth. Uh, uh, but that's part of it. That's part of, uh, you know, being a good martial arts instructor, doing good self-defense. Mm -hmm. Uh, remember, what we're trying to do is uh, show people how to get in and out yes. of certain situations. Not every time it's physically. Mm -hmm. You know, you also got to work with your mental state. That's you know, right. and be able to talk to people, be humble with them, and acknowledge them that they are people as well. That it's not everything has to be violent physically. That's right. But mentally. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, one of the things we were talking about off camera is the difference between leaving a memory and leaving a legacy. Tell the people a little bit about that. Well, you know, it is funny because. A lot of people base their life doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a lot of accomplishments, they make a lot of accomplishments, but people forget about them. Yeah. So I always believe that if memory, you can always lose your mind, you can trip and fall. Mm -hmm. But a legacy that you live behind will live forever. That's right. And that's part of my, uh, my way of thinking, to leave it to my students. Yes. So they can continue on with the legacy, just like our old instructor gave it to us. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what's something that I really, really uh, would like to know and let people know that you don't want to leave a memory, you want to leave a legacy. So can people can still talk about who was this man or who was this woman That's right. in their lifetime. That's what right. they done, what they produced, and what their accomplishments were. That's right. So, and there's even still producing, even after they're physically not here anymore. Exactly. Well, a good example, Bruce Lee. That's right. You know, huge uh, legacy. A huge legacy. You will never know how much impact he done for so many people, yeah. including myself. Yeah. Uh, he was one of my, you know person who uh, inspired me to you know get into the martial arts system mm -hmm. today one of the number one magazine covers is Bruce Lee yeah. so to so live by example yeah. look we lost him in a short time mm -hmm. but he left a legacy not a memory sure did and sure that's did. something that I, I'm gonna admire that from him and his family due to his family his legacy keeps on living yes. and it's up to us to keep it alive yes I love it now tell the people you have schools in Puerto Rico and you also have schools in the state right. to find out more about you and your schools where can they go or how can they find out more? well I got my Facebook page Hernandez Ninja 2 okay. all right we got whatever martial arts school mm -hmm. as well in Queens okay. uh, the school in Queens is run by one of my Shihans since Luis Aviles okay. and he's located in Woodhaven Queens New York okay. uh, you can look at him look at look at look him up on a Facebook page okay. Woodhaven martial art mm -hmm. for myself in Puerto Rico Hernandez Ninja Tzu, you can look it up Tag me in, and I'll give you all the information. Perfect. All right. All right. Thank you for taking this time. Thank with you us. so much, and it was good to see you, you again. You as well. And we're gonna salsa for real, but I'm not gonna get hit like the mother did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. God Thank bless. Thank you. You as well. Thank and we'll be back on Dr. Walls and Friends. One guy always got like a bone torque. On the I have no problem with that. If somebody can make that work, it works. Go with it.
come and fix it. But it might not work on everybody. Somebody's got bigger arms than you, taller than you, it might not always work. But there's de definitely different approaches to wrist locks, wrist manipulations, pressure of the bones in the body. Some people go really to touch their wrist and they're already freaking out. Like, oh, that hurts. Alright, so we're over here. Do the forearm press, stab and release, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do here, and he can hit with that arm, but if I lean in like this, he can't punch with that arm. Okay, so just using my head to lean in, and then I'm going to do that, pop out the knife. Got it? Okay, here, get all those moves. I realize it didn't, nothing worked, so I'm going to come in here, we're going to sacrifice him a little bit, and then lean right on his elbow, which takes out that other arm. So his body drops, boom, right there, pop that out. Got it? All right. 